in this video high bar hack squats not a low bar but a high bar my favorite squat variation at the moment check it out hack squats on the smith machine are one of the best compound movements for the quads because of the ability to place your feet forward leaning back into the bar allowing you to focus on part of your quads you are growing a low bar position will allow for more power but we're not training for strength here we are training for hypertrophy that is muscle growth a high bar position shifts more emphasis to the quads and is a better option for athletes like coach colt who have longer femurs use a power belt as the high bar can tend to be more taxing on your spine when using the smith machine reps here should be slow and controlled as always with the goal being to keep the quads working for about 45 seconds this usually falls within the ideal 15 to 20 rep range for the quads in fact you'll notice colt isn't even locking out his knees because there's no point. Locking out at the top of a squat temporarily disengages the quads while the goal is to make them work for 45 seconds without a break. The goal is muscle growth, not just sets and reps for the sake of sets and reps. Don't worry about the pump at the top. That's what the leg extensions are for. Toe position. Most Smith machines are close to a wall. That is not 100% necessary, but notice that Colt's toes are up against the wall and pointed upward. If the wrist is the key to a good physique, quote Chris Bumstead, <laughs> then ankle and toe position are what makes great legs. Play around with different foot angles and concentrate hard to discover which parts of your quads are being worked and focus on those areas that need improvement. That's all you should need to get started. Thanks for watching and stick around for another minute for some advanced training techniques from Coach Colt. Happy leg day. Okay, and then one additional thing too, foot position, you'll notice that I was using a pigeon toe position because my whole goal is to focus on the vastus lateralis. That's the outer quad heads. My wife already has it naturally, so I'm just trying to get to her level and see where and get to where she's at. <laughs> but I want my I want my quads to be bowing out like this because that's like what, that. That's what's going to give the appearance of a smaller waist. So having the appearance of a smaller waist isn't just about a calorie deficit and losing fat it's about how you shape your body around that so um, it is definitely harder on the knees to go close together like this but that's just kind of when you have to look in the mirror and decide is it worth it to you to beat up your joints to have some more aesthetic gains you know only you can make that call so risk and reward right <laughs> stay safe everybody and have fun let's go